Good evening. Well, late afternoon. It's 4.35 p.m. I want to try to catch the 5 o'clock 5 o'clock weather guessers here. Uh, I was wrong. Jim Asbell watched the video that I just put up, the HD one. And he picked up on something. I made the test wrong. <laughs> Leave it to me. I had my negative meter lead on the negative post. According to this, it's plainly written, but sometimes I have a habit, I was having difficulty reading this because I was holding the camera and I was, even though I had my reading glasses on, I was still having trouble reading it. And uh, you're supposed to take the negative lead and connect it to the power supply negative. It's plainly written here, which is where it's connected now. And I'm getting the correct readings. So, I am getting the five and a half volts, like Jim said, off of one side of that, of R1, and about 20, just a little under 23 volts on the left side. And I talked to Jim, he was on the phone, we were on the phone for a good half an hour. And I, I asked him, I said, well, why are we uh, getting uh, 22 point something on one side of the resistor and I'm getting exactly 23 from the power supply? And he informed me there's a, a voltage drop on uh, 2000, a 2N, 2004 diode, I believe it is. Uh, there's a diode in series with it, and that explains that. So anyways, the bottom line is the test came out good, the LM914 is not shorted, and Jim said, and I'm going to put this power supply on here again, Jim said to just take off the red lead of the SCR, put in my past transistors, put the board back in, and if the 2N6388 is shorted. It did not show short when I tested it, but if it is shorted, put an auto bulb on the on the power supply in your voltmeter. Leave the crowbar circuit out, and the worst you'll do is blow the bulb out if the voltage climbs up to 23 volts on these two pins here, these two lugs. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let me get you over here and do a, a quick video here of this. I know you're getting tired of this, and then I got a package that I want to open on video here. All right, I hope you can see that. Right now, the meter's picking up um, uh, millivolts. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. If, I'll read the numbers to you if you can't. All right, we're going to put the power supply on. The power supply... is... Turned on. Twenty three point three nine volts is what I'm getting off the power supply right now. Remember it's twenty three and a half volts off of the rectifiers. So all right now on R one. I'm getting 5.41 volts. I hope you can see that. Let me move the meter a little bit. Tilt it at different angles in case there's a reflection there. All right, so we're getting we're getting about the five and a half volts. On the other side of the resistor, we're getting 22.64. So that's the voltage drop across 
that diode that is feeding this. So that confirms that the LM 914, I guess, 614, 914, whatever, I have terrible, terrible with numbers. Anyways, it proves that that surface mount IC is good. So that means I won't need to have somebody work on this board. On this SCR here, we're going to remove this red wire, and we'll do that when we're ready to put the pass transistors in. We'll, as suggested, bring it up on the Variac really slow, and the only load will be on that is an auto tail light bulb, which I have. So if the pass transistors go into full conduction, in other words, if this 2N6388 is shorted, Jim says that the pass transistors will go into full conduction and you'll have a full 23 and a half volts out on these posts here, unregulated DC. So it's better to blow something like that, a bulb out, rather than uh, risk a radio or something like that. And I'll have my meter on it at the same time. So that that's good news. It was my stupidity. I had the meter negative connected to the negative post of the board. It was plainly written in here to connect the meter negative lead to the power supply negative. Now Jim used to write text for instruments and in and manuals and stuff. And he's very knowledgeable with this stuff. So I would believe him when he says something. He knows his stuff. He's a little bit older than me, and it's hard to believe anybody could be older than me, but he is. And a uh, real nice guy. So, all right. We'll shut this off. And we'll get to opening a package I received today. All right. Ah. I know what this is. It's the uh, window motor from Owen. I didn't expect it this fast, but he did say he was going to send it right out. All right. Yes, this has got the gear on the side. Got some grease in here. I don't want to get it on my hands here. It's almost the same as the one that I have over here. Probably the same size. Yeah, same size. But this is thinner. See that? Versus that. You know, see where I added the pulley? Just the body itself. So. <clears throat> On this gear, I could mount something on it without any problem. So, why don't we, um, still got a few minutes before the news comes on. Let's, uh, Let's cut, cut the uh, cut the plug off. I'm 
good sleeving I can use for something. <laughs> Let's test it out. Nice and quiet. And it's got the same little tit on it that the other one has. Alright. So there, there she be. All I gotta do is put a probably a kind of a heavy duty hose over that and put a hose clamp on it and then put a shaft on the hose and make my pulley. Unless I can figure out some kind of a gear that can couple to that, but then that gets a little complicated. But anyways, we got something to work with here. So that is very good. Thank you very much, Owen. We appreciate that. And we'll get the uh, uh, postage money right out to you. That's all you said you wanted. I appreciate it. Seven dollars and might as well say 775. So I'll uh, I'll send you ten. Thank you very much, and that concludes the video. So when the transistors come in off camera, I'll, I'll put those in and um, put the board in, but make sure that the SCR is disconnected. Yes, I think this will do just fine.